A recent study shows an alarming number of young people have very little, if any, understanding of what happened during the Holocaust. But one South Florida couple is doing its part to change that. CBS4 anchor Rick Folbaum is here to explain. We're so glad that you're here, every single one of you. Craig Weiner, welcoming another group of school kids to the Holocaust Reflection and Resource Room he and his wife founded at Nova Southeastern University in Davie. I want to start by showing you this newspaper on the right. For the Wieners, Holocaust education is a mission and a necessity. An April study found 22% of millennials hadn't heard of the Holocaust. 41% were unaware that six million Jews were murdered. Two thirds were not aware that Auschwitz was a Nazi death camp in Poland. Of course we knew there was problems there. It's uh, very important to teach about the Holocaust, but Barbara and I feel that it's much more important to learn from the Holocaust. Uh, in other words, to learn the lessons that it teaches us about standing up against hate and prejudice and, and uh, intolerance. And that's what, we're, that's what our mission is, totally. We need to be there for our children. Barbara Wiener says the idea for the center came to them during a trip to the concentration camps in Eastern Europe. On that trip, it really changed his life and changed my life in connection with it. And he came back and said, we have to do something something to bring this history alive to the students of South Florida. And that's when this center started to form in our minds. The center, located in NSU's Alvin Sherman Library, contains historical artifacts from the 30s and 40s, much of it donated from all over the world. South Florida schools have been planning field trips. Today's group is from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. Today we see in schools bullying, uh, we see hate, we see what just happened at Stoneman Douglas School. That horrible, horrible tragedy at Stoneman Douglas where this kid had swastikas engraved on his magazines for the bullets. So how can we uh, pretend we don't know about it? How can we not see it? We did see it and it's up to us to stand up against hate. The Wieners, who moved to South Florida from Canada and found success in commercial real estate, have donated enough money to ensure their reflection room will continue to be an educational resource for years to come. To us, it was extremely important to uh, make an arrangement with Nova Southeastern University to fund this center in perpetuity so that it has an endowment fund and it earns interest and that money will continually maintain this space forever. That way it can never close. And a center that will never close is a fitting way to honor the Holocaust victims whose main lesson is to never forget. The Wieners say this is their way of giving back to a country and a community that has been so good to them. And they've really done a nice job with this reflection room. There are so many interesting artifacts, things that I had never seen before. Right. Uh, they all have a story and Craig and Barbara will, will share the story with the students, anybody that comes through. It's a really impressive How do they place. get some of these items? Well, a lot of them are donated and then some of them are purchased, which is the way that a lot of uh, museums actually get their artifacts, but it's really quite a collection and it's right here in our backyard. And they're doing a valuable lesson by teaching these kids uh, about the Holocaust. Rick, thank you very much.